In today's technical corner, we're going to be discussing the new T-Scan 20 from Zeiss, and I'm joined by Alex. Welcome, Alex. Morning, you. Now, the T-Scan 20 and scanning technology has evolved significantly mm. over the years. So can you tell me about this new product from Zeiss? So T-Scan 20 is the latest iteration of the T-Scan range. Um, so it consists of a tracking unit and a handheld scanner. And it's a great non-contact method to get a kind of a um, inspection done quickly in about 10, 15 minutes to, to kind of understand at least at an early stage of production, um, is it ready for machining? Is it accurate enough or is there enough material to even machine off? So it, it's, it's a, what's like, what I call, like to call a sandy check to ensure that early in the process, things are identified that could be a problem later. So when you say, is it accurate enough, what can the T-Scan 20 measure to? What are the tolerances that you can expect okay. to achieve? So uh, typically 100 microns per meter as, as tested by the ISO 10360 standards. So um, why, why would I, uh, give me examples of why I would use a T-Scan rather than checking my components on a CMM apart from just speed. So if you've got um, a cast part or a construction part that's, you know, two, three meters in size, it's very heavy. It's very impractical to put it onto an inspection bed. Um, so you can effectively do 3D scanning um, in line in production um, by, by the machinery in line and um, get um, accurate enough results to have a you know, actionable um, outcome. So is that within tolerance uh, within, you know, 0.2 or 0.3? Um, also complex surfaces. So whereas to program, to program a CMM to inspect a complex surface is, is, is down to subjectivity. It depends on the operator. Whereas with a 3D scanner, you can scan a million points over that surface and have a correct characterization of that complex surface. So I suppose the, the example you've just given there, if you've got a very large component in the past, regardless, you know, you would have had to have put that component mm. onto the CMM and that alone is time and yes. expense. and it's over engineering as well because you haven't got to check it to that tolerance. It's over engineering it. In, yeah, in yeah, way. certainly. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's impractical to, to bring something so heavy into like an inspection room environment when it can actually be scanned in situ where it is. And you don't have to move it. And it doesn't have to be inspected to that accuracy either. Indeed, indeed. So, um, so you, you mentioned size. You've, you've brought up an example of a large component. But what about small components? And what kind of, you know, what's the largest size scanning volume? That you do? Yeah, so there, there are three variations of the T-Scan. The T-Scan LV is the largest one, um, uh, so-called because of the large volume, and that's 35 meter cubed. So you can have an entire vehicle be, be tracked and be scanned in that, in, in that volume. Uh, the newest T-Scan 20, because uh, of its name, it's 20 meter cubed, and the, the T-Scan CS, which um, uh, is, is um, 6.3 meter cubed into the scanning volume. And the advancements in this technology, you know, what are they in regards to, you know, it's a new product to mm. previous scanners from Zeiss. What are the new advancements? So Zeiss are always improving their optics. So one advantage of the new T-Scan 20 um, of the optical technology improving is there's less noise in the data. It's a lot more homogeneous on the surfaces, less noise, and uh, it can cope with um, difficult surfaces. So if you've got um, like a carbon, carbon fiber with, with a, a, kind of a lacquer on top, let's just say, so it's quite shiny, which is typically quite difficult to scan with uh, typical fridge projection systems. Um, it's able to cope with shiny um, piano blacks, um, surfaces a lot better than um, typical 3D scanning systems would. Now, we've, we've mentioned a few applications, but there are many applications that this technology lends itself mm. to in regards to checking components. But what about reverse engineering? Is this a product that would lend itself to that also? Certainly. So um, obviously, um, the end result of 3D scanning is an STL model. So you can bring that into Zeiss reverse engineering, um, put um, expansions or contractions to that STL data, and then create your CAD. Um, so for, for things like castings, for things like that needs uh, shrink factors or expansion factors, that's something you could cast in. Um, but certainly, yes, reverse engineering is one of those applications. So, you know, just to summarise, really, we've, we've mentioned that the scanner will not replace a CMM mm -hmm. due to accuracy, but it's certainly got a place in the future of metrology for many applications. Yes, uh, as the technology advances, the accuracy will only improve. Um, it's, it's got a great application in, in its, the, in its uh, way that it, it's uh, a lot quicker than CMMs and early on the production process or prototyping process, um, 
errors can be identified before it becomes more expensive to correct for the mistake. And also, if you do miss a tactile uh, inspection method, the T-scan does come with a T-point. So you can actually do, um, um, especially deep bores and deep cavities where a scanner can't get into, you can do a tactile inspection too. And what accuracies can you do that to, Alex? Again, it's the same quoted, uh, 0.1 millimetre per metre. Alex, thank you very much for your time. No problem, Gio.